Hi, uh, this video is regarding score versus percentile per quant. Hayes quant may be the last uh, three years CAT performance. If you look at last three years CAT, I mean, uh, the percentile to score has been more or less range bound. If I look at if I want to score a 90 percentile, right, uh, the score has varied from 17 to 23 in the 90 percentile. So if I want the 80 percentile, score has varied from 16 to 12. There is a chance that the scores may go down in a sense that the paper is tougher and you may require lesser score to get the same percentile. There is a chance that the score may go up, which means that if the paper is easy, you may still require more marks. I mean, you there is a chance. But still, I mean, this gives you a fair idea as to what is the range of scores that is possible. Normally, I tell students that when you go for the exam, go with the open mind. I mean, don't try to look at marks or the score. Just focus on doing your best, have a strategy in place. So the paper is easy, you should be able to maximize the score. The paper is tough, you should be able to pick up the easy, tough, easy ones among the questions and solve. And don't focus on your marks, just focus on your strategy. But yes, this will give you a fair idea as to what has been the scores in the last few years. And if you want to plan regarding VITAP, you can. So, right? So for example, if I want, I mean, 90 percentile would be the sectional cutoff for almost all the colleges. I mean, no college has sectional cutoff of more than 90 percentile. In doing top 80 percentile for most of the top colleges, 80. There could be hardly one or two colleges which has a section cut of more than 80 percentile. Some go to 85 as such, top colleges. But most of the colleges, 80 percentile would suffice. And 50 percentile is a minimum normal section cut of good colleges. I mean, they require that if you have a section cut off in the college, then there's a 50 percentile which they expect you to score in a particular section. Okay, so with that, you need to know, look at what you need to aim for. If you're aiming for top colleges, you should at least aim for 80 percentile in each section. If you're aiming for good colleges, not necessarily top, then you should at least have a 50 percentile in each section. And your strategy will accordingly change. For example, if I want to score 90 percentile, the score required in the last three years is 70 to 23. So it is possible that I attempt seven questions and got, get all seven correct and get a 90 percentile. That is possible, right? As a matter of fact, last year, if you had just scored six and got six correct, you'd have got 90 percentile. Or it is also possible that your accuracy is a little lower. You attempt 12 questions and you get 8 correct, you must still get a 90 percent. So based on your accuracy, you may have to attempt that many questions and plan accordingly. But understand this is tentative. When you go for the exam, go with the open mind. If you feel the paper is easy, try to attempt more number of questions. If you feel the paper is tougher, pick up whatever is easy you can find and then try to solve it. Right? Yeah. All the best.